Full details in the blog post linked in the description. The blog post will be kept up to date with any new details that appear. Often a simple problem is the cause of the fault, so before doing anything else, check these three things on the source and display devices as well as the HDMI cable. First, ensure that the display device is switched on and the source device is connected and ready to send a signal. Check that there isn't a loose connection on either end of the HDMI cable. Unplug the HDMI cable and replug both ends into the source and display device, ensuring the connections are secure and tightly placed. Check that the HDMI cable isn't faulty. Let's look at how to identify and fix each of these. Ensure that the display device is plugged in and switched on. While it may seem obvious, if the display device is off, the source device may keep disconnecting from it when the connection attempt times out. Check that the display device is turned on and that all settings are set to be able to display the signal from the source device. Equally obvious, check that the HDMI cable is plugged into both the source and display device. Lastly, check that all settings are set so that the display device can receive a signal and the source device can send a signal. Ensure that there isn't a loose connection. An HEMI cable does not sit in the socket as securely as other connection types. A loose connection at either end can cause your HDMI to disconnect. The display or source device heats up, causing the HDMI socket to heat and expand. If the cable is a little loose, this may cause the connection to loosen further and disconnect. Checking that the cable is firmly plugged in on both ends will ensure this is not the problem. If you do find that one of the connections was loose, consider using cable locks for your HDMI cables to keep them in place in the future. Ensure that the HDMI cable is not faulty. If you have a new HDMI cable, it may have an out-of-box fault, meaning that it was damaged before the sale or has a factory fault. While this is not very common, it can happen. If you have had the cable for a while and it has started to disconnect where it didn't before, it may be because of wear and tear or age. In both cases, a simple way to test if an HEMI cable is faulty is to switch it out with one you know works. If the disconnecting persists, you know it is not the HDMI cable. If the disconnection stops, you know the HDMI cable is faulty and can replace it with a new one. Advanced Troubleshooting for HDMI Connection Issues While the three simple troubleshooting tips above may be why your HDMI keeps disconnecting, there may also be a more technical problem. While there could be many reasons for HDMI connection issues, below are some common ones and how to fix them. Use a different sequence to power on devices. Sometimes a source device doesn't automatically recognize that a display device has been turned on and is ready to receive a signal if it is turned on after the source device or vice versa. If an HDMI signal keeps disconnecting, this may be the issue. The simple test is to turn the devices on in a different order. Avoid long HDMI cables longer than 33 feet. Signal in an HDMI cable can become weak or intermittent on a cable longer than 33 feet. If the cable you are using is longer than 33 feet, you may want to consider using an HDMI repeater or extender kit halfway along the cable. Change the HDMI channel input on the display device. HDMI technology uses what is known as EDID or an HECP handshake. Basically, both devices confirm that a signal can be passed between them. Sometimes this EDID or an HECP handshake fails for some reason and the connection keeps dropping. Changing the HDMI channel input will force the source and display to talk to each other again and possibly resolve the fault. To do this, go to the source and slash or display device settings menu, or use the remote in the case of a TV to change the HDMI input to another source and then back again. Check for firmware updates on the source or display device. 
check that both devices have all the necessary updates installed and that each has been powered down and powered back on after the updates. Match resolution settings for the display and source devices. If the source resolution does not match the destination device resolution, it may cause the signal to disconnect. The display device may not support the resolution the source device sends and keeps disconnecting. Use the menu settings on both the source device and the display device to check the current setting and to change them to match if necessary. Either set the setting to auto or match the settings on each device so that the signal being sent matches the desired display setting. Eliminate signal intermediary faults. If the source device uses an intermediary, relay, or audio transmitter slash receiver, check that this is not the fault. Connect the source device to the display device using one hardwire HDMI cable. If the disconnection stops, then the intermediary is the problem. Check the settings on the intermediary or replace it if it is faulty. If you are still having trouble, try taking a look at the comments. I will also update the blog post, linked in the description, with any new fixes that appear.